couple of big games right here in Hampton Roads with two area teams staging home openers. For more on that, let's send it over to Brian Parsons, who covered that action. Brian? Hey, Nathan. We're going to start on the peninsula. The home opener for Hampton taking on William & Mary. Both teams coming off opening week defeats to FBS schools. The Tribe lost at Virginia Tech. The Pirates lost at ODU. Hampton, by the way, has never defeated William & Mary. Another in-state game for the Tribe. They have five of them this year. Hampton led by fiery first-year coach Connell Maynard. Nothing flashy by the Tribe. It was a whole lot of running. Mikhail Abdul Sabor over 100 yards on the ground. The junior from Georgia with three touchdowns behind that big Tribe offensive line. Now William and Mary's defense is anchored by Mike Riley, and there he is with the big sack. Now, when you ran it like the Tribe did today, the defense is more than likely going to bite on the play fake, like right here. Steve Cluley, the bomb to Sean Ballard, just shy of the end zone. That led to a short touchdown run. William and Mary led 20 to nothing at the break, and it goes on to win it 42 to 14. Hampton is at Richmond next week. Home opener for Norfolk State, the Spartans hosting Liberty. Quarterback Terrence Urban, the freshman, getting the start for the Spartans and showing off the legs there. Nice run by Urban. Spartans, not much to show for offensively today. NSU does have a strong defense led by six foot seven Lyndon Trail, the big fellow with the big stop. Ouch, right there. First quarter, big play here by Liberty. Quarterback Josh Woodrum going for it. The deep ball to Darren Peterson. That led to a Flames field goal. NSU scored six points in last week's loss at Maine. Today against Liberty, Norfolk State blanked. Irvin throws the interception. That led to Liberty's first touchdown of the game, and the Flames go on to win it 17 to nothing. NSU is at William & Mary next Saturday. Spartans got to find some offense if they want to contend in that MEAC race. Nathan, back to you.